Welcome back. So a couple videos ago I showed you how to stuff foam into a mattress cover. So you're probably wondering how do I cut that four inch foam? Today I'm going to show you and I'm also going to show you the tool that I used. My name is Grant. This is my dog Susie. Hey. Say hi. Recently I purchased a 1978 Irwin Mark III sailboat. It's a center cockpit. And man is it a project. Here's my old foam. It's kind of nasty. You can see someone actually glued it together right here. I went to Fred Meyers or a sporting goods store and just got myself a piece of cheap camping foam. I put the new piece or the old piece on the new piece of foam and just traced it with a sharpie. Let me show you how I cut it. So I went online to Amazon. I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. And I purchased the Romic. And this is a foam cutting gun if you will. Here it is here. I'll put a link down below. So uh, obviously it's uh, 110. Got your little trigger here and you put in your blade. There's two different blades and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, there's a dial right here. They recommend that you start in the center. You hold it for uh, no more than 15 seconds. It gets hotter than hell. And you just cut your foam. I'll show you how. All right, I got my foam, got my gun. I'm gonna hold it for uh, 15 seconds, give or take. And if you look in this area right here, you may be able to see uh, starting to steam or smoke. You don't want to breathe the foam. There you go. <coughs> Just like that. Hmm. Don't breathe the smoke. It's not good for you. Anyway, uh, Romech, R-O-M-E-C-H, hot knife. I guess that's what it's called, hot knife. That's what I use. Uh, you can see it cuts it clean, um, fast, easy. Hold it for 10 or 15 seconds. Let off, 10 or 15 seconds, let off. Um, let me show you the kit. Here's a quick shot with it uh, all put together. The knife goes right here. The blade that I have on it now goes right here. You can see I got a second blade. Here's a little tool for tightening the two screws or Allen head bolts, nuts, bolts. Uh, and here's a little, uh, brass knife or not knife brush to uh, help clean it when you're done each time fits right in here nice little handy carrier I'm not paid or sponsored I just like it uh, I'm gonna show you an example here in just a second of a hot knife that I tried or I did buy tried to save some money and it didn't work with crap this is uh, I think right on $89 give or take it's well worth it. It cuts it so fast, so clean. It's easy to use. It comes in a nice little case so you can pack it away. Uh, I highly rec recommend this type of knife, um, even this one, but again, I'm not uh, sponsored or paid or no discounts or anything. So right here are the two, actually four, Allen head bolts. To help keep the blade in I think this is a six inch and the other ones either eight or ten I don't know I don't recall um, obviously you can cut six inch foam also but this is it's a nice little tool here's the first one I bought on Amazon it was substantially cheaper but honestly it was a piece of junk and it really didn't work it never got hot enough 
was a waste of time and, and money and a hassle to, to do this. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is buy the right tool for the right job. Your project will go faster. It'll turn out better. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. Anyway, that's how I cut the foam quick and easy to get it inside my boat uh, cushion covers. Hopefully this helps you out. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and make a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.